Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you once again, rolling down that vintage highway. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, don't want you to miss out. You know, we've had so many great vintage guitars on this year, and of course the best of the boutique world. And uh, this would fall into that best of the vintage. And this right here is one that I... This one's got me. This is the first time I'd ever seen one of these. And I understand them to be extremely, extremely rare. This is a 1941 G uh, Gibson J55. 1941 Gibson J55. And I, I didn't even know they made such thing. In 41, uh, because I'm a little more of a buff on, on Martin history and, and Gibson, you know, they, they do so many, they've done so many different things through the years, cool things, a lot of them. But this deal right here is it, 1941, J55, Orville Gibson, uh, and this is a really nice sounding guitar, just a legit piece of music history that sounds really good. And if you're interested in this guitar, see the description box. It belongs to Dale Owen, and he is putting it up for sale. He has held on to this for, for some time, and he's got a couple of Gibson guitars that he's selling. And, uh, so he he uh, he has kind of he's owned some and cold them out, and he I know has enjoyed this guitar very much. He's spoken uh, about it to me several times how much he enjoys playing it. And uh, once I tried it out here, I see why. But it is for sale. If you see the description box and you're interested in owning a piece of uh, American history, 1941. J55, you can speak with him about it, and uh, he will give you all the skinny on it. Let's see what she sounds like. Man, she sounds good. <laughs> This is just a beautiful guitar to play. Check out the treble. Responds really, really easy. Just beautiful balance on it. Check out the bass. This has a big bass. This has a big bass. Thank you. 
respond to just nothing. getting carried away. Let me try on a G chord. Check out that, how, just how that hammers. So really good bass, but man, it, it, it just hammers on so nice and clean. You don't get that oof, oof, uh, sort of like a, sort of like a dog barking, you know, that, that sometimes you get when you, when you hammer on in the microphone on your, on your low E. So that is really, really cool. We'll take her up to the second fret here and I'll play a little bit of rhythm, see what she says. Attempt to finger pick it. I'm missing half of a nail. You know, we have been fortunate to have some real nice banners on over the years. Uh, anybody that's a regular watcher knows that we've had a whole lot more Martin and Martin-inspired stuff. But when we have had Gibson stuff, it has generally been so, so good. Or even the Gibson-inspired stuff that we've had on, which we've only had a few, you know, but uh, from guys like Nathan Wright, just a wonderful J45, or Ted Davis, uh, you know, people of that ilk. Uh, and and the old banners, uh, 40s, and we've had some 30s, some J35s on. And this right here ranks way up there, man. This 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 ranks as high as any that we've had. Third fret here.
to record. Man, this this is a machine for you. This really is. Uh, you know, and you like Martin, and Martin's all good and everything else, but you, you kind of wonder, well, sometimes I'd kind of like to have something a little bit different. Uh, this this is something you should look at. Fourth fret. <laughs> Just a good one, people. That's all I really know to tell you. It's just a good one. It's a great one. There's no good about it. It's great. Check out a fifth fret here. Check out the color. Oh. I really dig it. I really do. If I was, uh, if I had the money of a lot of you guys, I'd get it. I would get it because this is a very, very useful tool. And I don't know anything about this guitar, okay? I, I understand it to be very, very original. Uh, you know, it's 1941. Uh, it's it's seen a lot of real playing in its time by real players. Um, man, this is not as large as the baseball net. To me, uh, man, it's larger than the modern profiles that I see on most most Gibsons. I mean. Of course, the custom shop doing some reissue stuff. You know, they got some pretty big ones. But it's got the baseball bat sort of shape, but it's not the thickest 
but it's very nice, very nice, one eleven sixteenths, and uh, you know I'm I'm generally used to playing one and three quarters all the time, and I have no problem with this neck. It is it is really really wonderful. Really, this guitar is very very uh, whoever. Whoever had maintained this, uh, it's definitely had a refret. Looks to be pretty recent. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, the, the fret's perfect on it. Um, and the fret job is, uh, I would classify that as perfect as well. Very, very nice fret work on this. Um, and the setup is so so good it is very comfortable and these guitars uh this does have a truss rod unlike martin and you can look online and there's arguments about the bat wing bridge versus the mustache bridge and which sounds better and i'll leave all that to to somebody else to do to to uh, uh decide because as i said um i've only this is the only one of these jay 55s uh, from this era that I have played. Um, so, you know, I mean, I've got opinions, but they're not worth much. They're really nothing, you know. And uh, as far as the mustache versus the bat wing, uh, this guitar has I had a crack from the from the bridge back. Uh, you know, it's kind of kind of evident, I think. So. Uh, but man, just a great piece of history. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of originality here, a lot of very nice playability here. And if it's something that you would be interested in, um, a lot of rarity here. Uh, you can see the description box and contact Dale Owen. Uh, but you know, I mean, this is mahogany and red spruce, uh, so it's. It ain't, uh, it ain't, ain't no cheapo junk. I mean, and it sounds the part if you ask me. But see the description box. Contact Dale Owen. He'll, he'll be glad to give you all the information that he has. And uh, you know, I hope, I hope somebody gets this. I really do, man. Uh, because when we get a Gibson that 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 comes in, uh, I like because. People don't send junk, and uh, when I like them, I really, really like them, and this is one that I really, really like, and I hope somebody gets it because uh, this, is, this is just a really, really good guitar. But see the description box, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd sure appreciate it. Thank you all. Take care.